Yeah, so people wonder when you say, all use this Hippocratic um, phrase, all diseases start in the gut. How could the gut that is, we understood even 10, 15 years ago as a organ that's primarily or exclusively devoted to digesting food, breaking it down, chemically breaking it down, mechanically, then absorbing it and storing the waste material. Now all of a sudden we have a concept that goes way beyond that. We know that 75% of the body's immune system is located in the gut. We know that hundreds of millions of nerve cells are located in the gut and sandwiched between the layers. We know that the biggest part of our um, endocrine or hormonal system is located in the, in the gut in specialized cells. And we know that all these cell types interact with each other. They also interact in a very intricate way with signaling molecules that come from the gut microbes. So we now have a system that has been referred to as the gut connectome. So it's not a simple mechanical or chemical system. It's a computerized system that with many interacting uh, elements that that amplifies or translates whatever we feed it, what, what, what we put in, um, that translates the components of our food in other secondary chemicals, which then um, are distributed through the body. And the same thing is true about the gut's immune system, that the interactions, for example, of the, the gut microbiome influenced by our food influences the immune system to spread the message throughout the body. And then I should say, you know, coming back to the close connections of the, the gut with the brain, the influences of the brain, particularly in terms of negative emotions and chronic stress, have an almost equally worrisome effect on the health of the gut microbiome and can trigger the same unfortunate um, sequence of dysbiosis dysregulation of the immune system and low-grade immune activation throughout the body. So we have these two influences that converge on the gut, the diet on the one side, the brain influences on the other side. And in many cases, those negative influences occur in the same person. So somebody who is chronically stressed and depressed uh, and worried, who is eating an unhealthy diet, um, will obviously amplify these negative influences on gut health and beyond.